This is the type of senseless violence that you normally see in a large northeastern city or Los Angeles, somewhere along Silicon Valley, but this happened in Georgia. So, you know what, hey, why not talk about this? And again, it's a young kid, okay, somebody who probably had a pretty bright career ahead of them obviously 18 years old was probably going to be getting a scholarship somewhere it looked like he had everything going for him and then was just you know shot dead while on a date I'm just wondering before we get into specifics if this is going to be one of those pnb rocky situations where he's out on a date and his girl posts something to instagram and somebody's thinking it's like yeah it's time to go collect well, let's take a look this is kind of a sad story the last word he said to me was help well, did you? Devastated girlfriend of Georgia high school football star, 18, who was shot dead on their date, recalls searching for a pulse as he died in a pool of blood. He said help, not, you know, check if I'm still alive. Idiot. Uh, the girlfriend of a murdered high school uh, football star says his final words was help. Uh, said as he died in a pool of blood after being shot outside a Georgia mall. Bailey Redling, 20. Well, outside of the very obvious L that he took with the shooting, but why are you dating somebody older than you, dude? And somebody, because that's her in the picture there. She's kind of cute and all that stuff, but she could either be 16 or 28. It's really tough to tell. It's kind of an odd girl, but I wish this guy wouldn't wear his football helmet everywhere that he went. And some of his pictures. Oh no, that's his actual. Jesus Christ. That is the envy of all those look max or looks maxers out there. Jesus Christ. That's a big old fucking dome on that dude. I told Fox News, I run over to Elijah and he's on the ground and I go over there and he mouths to me. The last word he said was help. Checked his pulse and I got freaked out because there was nothing going on there. Yeah, he was shot and he was in a pool of blood. Things were pretty bad, she called, um, you know, 911. Uh, the streams of Redding were heard in the background of a 911 call. Redling uh, described herself as being full of shock. Yes, it's all about you, sweetheart. And she said she struggled to know what to do as DeWitt bled uncontrollably. Well, apply pressure to the blood or to the gunshot wound, but I guess we're just kind of Monday morning quarterbacking a murder. You're screaming in the moment because you're in shock, Redling said. Uh, some sweet lady came from around the corner and said, Baby, you just got shot. Calm down. We called 911. Uh, they're already on their way. Hey, W that lady. Uh, DeWitt was on a date with Redling, his girlfriend of four years. He's 18. She's She would have been mm, interesting. Why is Chad Thundercock also dressing with uh, similar sneakers? That's kind of weird. As well as their friends Oscar and Angel when he was gunned down. The, t uh, the two couples were inside a Dave & Buster's store. Wouldn't it, isn't that kind of a restaurant? Anyways, uh, when DeWitt gave Redling his credit card, asked her to get food, gave her a kiss, and headed to the restroom, okay? The four had only been at the restaurant for about 15 minutes before DeWitt was shot. Minutes later, Redling and Angel were unable to find their dates, so they urgently called them multiple times before Oscar finally answered. Oscar answered in a panic, and the only thing he said was outside, Redling, Redling, something like that. Uh... Recalled in an interview, once Angel and Reedling rushed outside, they found Oscar on his knees. Within seconds, uh, they found DeWitt right beside him, breathing his last breath. DeWitt allegedly got into an altercation with the two the night he died. Police arrested Kiermaier, er, Kamer Bryan, 18, and Chandler Richardson. We'll see pictures of them very shortly. And if you wonder why this isn't getting national attention for uh, some up-and-coming football star... It'll become patently obvious here in a moment for murder and possession of a firearm two days later in South Carolina. Brian and Richardson uh, were expected to be extradited back to Georgia on Monday. Sure hope they made it. Oh my god, did he get shot in the knee beforehand? Because there's he got blood on his knees. And there's our two upstanding youths right there. Brian on the left, Richardson on the right. Despite the anguish she faces, Reedling, <laughs> this is all about her all of a sudden? There's a fucking dead kid right here, dead 18-year-old, but despite the anguish she faces... Fuck off. Uh, Reedling says uh, she is following in the footsteps of DeWitt's parents and choosing to forgive his killers. Why? Want to see them fucking go to jail for the rest of their lives? Fuck them. Elijah would forgive them. I don't know. He's kind of dead right now, so I think he might have a grievance or something. Which seems uh, like he wouldn't, you know, if you're the one of these guy, uh, one of those guys' friends, or you see him on the field. He's a scary player, but he would have forgave them. I'm going to. Yes, of course. Again, it's all about you. 
God, that old saying, she's going to bring a, f uh, she's going to bring a date to your funeral and never, ever, ever fails. Something in my heart telling me to, I haven't gotten any hatred towards him. Anger, yes. Reedling confirmed that uh, DeWitt may have known the suspects after meeting them at Dave and Buster's only a few days earlier. Hmm, interesting. And if you're in this relationship where he's leaning in, do we need to draw the lines on this one? Like this dude, um, they might have really liked each other, but that whole dynamics, just a touch off. Just saying there's the multiple red flags that are there. But if they've been dating for four years and you're not too sure if your boyfriend's killers were just one-off acquaintances or if they knew of each other, you're not really um, doing your job that well. Reedling confirmed that DeWitt may have, yes, known the suspects. Uh, DeWitt had gone to entertainment restaurant and was approached by Brian Richardson asking if he had weed. Reedling was told by a source, okay. Uh, she said it was unclear how the suspects knew DeWitt uh, would have been at the Dave & Buster's on October 5th. Maybe he was drug running so that he could afford that Gucci belt buckle, weirdo. Why do they have that picture again? Like, she's got a, she's not unattractive, let's just say that. Just not my cup of tea. Riedling said her football star boyfriend had spent the time in her apartment the night before he died. What were you guys doing? I don't need the details, okay. <laughs> Next morning, DeWitt headed to practice and Riedling was, oh, went to work. He texted me that he had the best practice he ever had. Oh my God, can we, can we be more mellow dramatic about this? DeWitt uh, later went to play golf with his friends. Like, this is the whitest shit I've ever seen before in my life. Christ almighty. Uh, before heading to the double date, the lovebirds had a three-year age gap. Yeah, we know. It's disgusting. And both went to Jefferson High School for one year together before she aged out. Let that sink in. Uh, when the football star was a freshman. Uh, to be close to DeWitt, Reedling chose to attend Georgia Southern University. Hey, good on him getting her to change where she was going to university. That's, that's kind of a W. But then she was also probably betting on this guy, because again, if he's a football star and all that shit, he definitely had a higher ceiling for potential. Just saying. Uh, Reedling mourned her boyfriend in a heartfelt tribute, a heartfelt on Monday, in light of DeWitt's visitation on Tuesday and funeral on Wednesday. Oh man. Reedling topped off the photo of her and her boyfriend of more than four years, hugging along with eight pages of tribute. Oh my god. That would have been fucking annoying to sit through. Uh, they say you aren't supposed to question God, but damn. Language! You're inside of a... Th th home of the Lord. And I thought you said you didn't have any hatred in your heart, but if you have hate in your heart, let it out. Riedling wrote in a tribute on October 10th. I went, oh, I never thought I would be having to write this. It's not about you. Baby, I know you couldn't help what happened, but damn, why'd you leave me? I hate her. I hate her so much. None of this is real to me yet, uh, so I feel like I'm stuck. Do we need to play the, uh, do, how many times does she reference herself instead of the guy who was actually shot and killed on a date? I don't think any of it, uh, because I truly believe in a long ass dream. Oh, okay, so you're crazy now. Well, we should have already known that. I'm waiting for you to text me, call me back, or snap me. It'd be weird if that was to happen now, but okay. Elijah, I need you with me. I need you here with me uh, to tell me if I'm being dramatic. <laughs> Did you not think that was dramatic and just writing that right there? I need you to be here with me to hug me, even if I don't want to hug. Oh my god, kiss me and tell me everything's gonna be okay. I'm not reading the rest of that stuff that fucking makes me sick to my stomach. Like, it's sad and shit, okay, that your boyfriend got shot, but making it all about you, that makes me, that's equally as, ugh, disgusting. Riedling recalled her past with DeWitt, that they are nothing more than mere memories. Yeah, because you can't make any more, because he's dead. You forget that part? She counted on the football star to explain to her complicated subjects like how cryptocurrency works. He's 18 years old. You're 20. God, you got some little alpha widowed thing just out there in the fucking wild right now. Lord have mercy. This is going to be tough for whoever ends up getting tangled with this girl. Heartbroken girlfriend later explained she was happy the suspects were arrested but was focused on not having to wit anymore. I used to hate about how you would move so slow when we were in a hurry, but damn, I would give everything for you. Oh, to be able to rush you again. Oh, she sounds terrible. Call me selfish. You're selfish. I don't care. I don't have my Elijah. Half of me is gone. Where's his parents in this situation? DeWitt was dubbed a gentle giant. Yeah, he looks like a pretty tall dude. Uh, by some of those who knew him. Okay. Why is there so few details on the actual guy instead of this, you know, solipsistic woman? 
Uh, Rydling er, concluded until I get my wings to be with you again. Oh god, don't do anything too dramatic. I'll make sure our house in heaven looks exactly like how you planned our first house to look when we were multi-millionaires. Oh, stop it. Candlelight vigil uh, for DeWitt was held on Sunday evening as nearly 100 people gathered to honor the Jefferson High School student. Definitely the worst day of my life, Don Irwitt, Elijah's mom, told uh, Fox News. His life just came completely to a screeching halt in seconds. I feel bad for his mom because, you know, she actually seems like she cares. Uh, Irwitt told uh, 11 Alive News. Oh, come on. Is that really appropriate that they went down there to talk to him? Um, that her son was dedicated to football and strived to be number one. He loved football. He was ready and willing to do whatever it takes to go to D1. That was his ultimate goal. Despite losing their son, Don and her husband, Craig, have forgiven his alleged killers. Are they, like, up on charges or some shit like that? Because that would be great. Because you killed an 18-year-old kid with a promising future for... What? But to just find a little bit more motive, got a different article pulled up. Dis our detectives are still working to investigate the motive behind the incident. It appears that the suspects and the victim were familiar with each other, and when they encountered each other in the parking lot, an altercation took place, and... Oh, and then the shooting, Gwinnett Police Department said in a statement. And to add insult to injury, I'll just go ahead and, you know, scroll down a little bit. Elijah died on his father's birthday, according to 11 poorly named news affiliate, Alive News. Fucking tragic, dude. All for what? All for what? I guess we'll never know. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.